This dude has been lights out as we welcome in April's AL reliever of the month, Jordan Romano. Now, Jordan, the Jays have won a lot of one run games this season, and you have been so clutch for them. What is it about these high pressure situations? Yeah, you know, we've been in a lot of uh, one run ball games, but uh, you know, I think me and the whole bullpen, uh, we're, we're kind of starting to thrive in those in those spots, you know. And uh, these one-run games are going to mean a lot more, you know, hopefully uh, playoffs and stuff. We've all been comfortable in these tight spots, so it's, uh, it's pretty fun to play in. Jordan, it's X, man. It, look, every closer needs a great entrance to come in on, and you have one yourself. You got the lights going off. You got the club music popping. <laughs> did you come up with that yourself, or how did that even come about? No, no, I'm not too artistic. Uh, I heard that our, you know, I heard that our, our people that, you know, run the stadium and stuff, they were going to do something for my entrance, but I, I never really thought it was going to be this cool. Uh, I can kind of see the lights when I walk out, you know, they kind of dim, but I don't know what's going on with the video board. I heard it's really cool. So uh, maybe after the season, I'll, I'll take a look. <laughs> love that, love that, Jordan. Uh, Anthony Recker here. Uh, I had a question for you, kind of along those lines, look, when you, First, you know, came into the league uh, early in your career, you had the squat going. I noticed you cut it out. Where did it come from and why is it gone? Well, you know, I did the squat in the shortened 2020 season, you know, and that was fine. But trying to do that for 162 kind of bangs up your body, you know. So <laughs> I just decided to, yeah, I decided to cut it out. I still like doing it, but uh, it was just too much on the body. Did it have anything to do with your pal Vladdy? behind you kind of mimicking. I'm sure you've seen the video. You had to have seen the video from last year. Have anything to do with that? No, no, I mean, maybe a little bit, but uh, <laughs> no, not too much. <laughs> hey, so we had another one of your teammates on in George Springer earlier. You were on the mound Sunday when he made that great catch against the Astros. What did you say to him when he came back to the dugout? Did you say, like, I owe you one, I owe you dinner? He's a big Uber Eats guy. <laughs> yeah, when I, when I saw that ball go in the air, I thought there was no way uh, George was going to catch it. You know, I was, I was up there, and I was like, oh, man, I blew the game. But then I see him come out of nowhere, dive and catch it. And uh, I didn't say much. I just gave him a big hug. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> That's really sweet. Uh, we were just talking offline about uh, your Leafs fandom. You're obviously from the Toronto area. I read a story that you were actually at a Jays game and you said, I'm going to pitch here one day. What is it like for you to live your dream right now? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really grateful for it every day, you know, kind of growing up just 20 minutes from the field, uh, coming to a lot of ball games growing up. And now, you know, I get a get a pitch here. And uh, yeah, I'm just honestly grateful for it every day. It's uh, it's been pretty special. Jordan, we, we talked about you cutting out the squat that you used to do, um, but you're still, you talk to yourself a lot, you're moving around a lot out there on the mound. Is it more of an intimidation type thing or is that just something that's been a part of your routine? How did you end up getting all of those things that you do now on, out there on the mound? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not really an intimidation thing. It's kind of just what I do to perform. You know, sometimes I talk crazy to myself, move around. I get chirped a lot for kind of what I do on the mound. You know, I move around, do weird, weird movements and stuff. But, yeah, that's just me. You know, that's how I like to pitch. And, uh, you know, I kind of do whatever I feel like I need to uh, perform. So sometimes it can be crazy, but that's just kind of me. Speaking of what you need to do to perform, uh, you've rocked a pretty good stash at times. I see it's now a little bit more scruff. I've seen you with the beard. But I got to know, is the stash coming back? Because I love it, and I want to see more of it. <laughs> yeah, the, the stash is actually it's coming back today. I was going to do it before this Ooh. interview, but I just kind of ran out of time. So uh, I think for tonight's game, we'll have a little uh, duster stash going. We just broke the news on Off Base, guys. The stash is coming back. <laughs> Hey, man, you mentioned growing up 20 minutes from the Rogers Center. You're Toronto born and raised. The Raptors are out of it, but how are you feeling about your Leafs tonight? I'm feeling good, feeling confident. Uh, Matthews, you know, he's, uh, he's primed up, ready to go. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good. I think uh, this is the year. We're going to go all the way. We're going to win the Cup. Okay, so you're saying you're going to end up in the Cup Final. Uh, do you have a Stanley Cup Final prediction? I'm from Colorado. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Yeah, let's go 4-0 uh, sweep, Leafs versus Avalanche in the final. Ooh. Sweep! 
Oh, that's so adorable. I, you know what? I, I just, I love the confidence of Toronto natives. Uh, Jordan, we really appreciate you joining us. Good luck tonight. We cannot wait to see uh, the re-debut of the stash. And by the way, can someone please get him a link to his video? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for having me on. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Appreciate it, Jordan. Thanks.